Well, folks, welcome to Haunted Tent's Christmas setup, day one. And as you'll tell by the time you finish watching this video, this isn't going to be a daily vlog. I never do the Christmas stuff as a daily vlog because you don't get much footage. Uh, like I said, it is November 15th. We are one day removed from getting the haunt 100% taken down. As you can see, the front yard is totally empty. <laughs> and you can definitely see the trail. We got the, literally, got the big tent taken down yesterday. Backyard's cleaned up, bedroom's cleaned up, basement still has two tubs that need to be packed, so I got stuff all over my workbench downstairs. And my shop's a total disaster area. I have not done hardly anything in the shop. Which is going to make it real fun doing the Christmas display because I'm going to have to climb over a lot of that stuff to get to the stuff I need to do the Christmas display. But our goal is to get this Christmas display done by Thanksgiving so we can plug it in for Thanksgiving. Or as close to Thanksgiving as we can. Last year we missed it by one day. It was the day after Thanksgiving before we got the display uh, plugged in. This year, I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Uh, we're adding some new elements to it. The uh, display this year is going to have two projectors instead of one. And we'll have four different things being showed. Uh, we are going to be having the Halloween stuff entered into it. What have you. Today, uh, it's been Aaron Day. We, oh, just a little fact on the haunted tents for you. We did our last load to the dump today. Uh... Ended up taking three loads to go to the dump uh, to get the uh, Halloween portion of our thing here taken care of. The I just went over all three receipts. We ended up taking 2,690 pounds worth of garbage to the dump. That was a mixture of uh, plastic, wood chunks, pumpkins, corn stalks, whatever. So 2,690 pounds worth of garbage. But uh, anyway, we're out here, we're going to get started, and as with most years, we are going to get started on the eve of the house. That's the highest point, or well, almost highest point, but that's one of the most hardest ones to get to, to do because of all the bushes I got to go in and around. But we're going to work on trying to get those lights up today, just on the eve. That's as far as I am planning for. Uh, we got, I got a doctor's appointment here in about an hour, and I don't know how long that's going to take, so I don't know how much time I'm going to have. Uh, it's going on about two. Uh, we've been running errands all day. So, but, uh, anyway, we're going to get started on the eve of the house. We're going to get those lights up. We'll get them tested, and then kind of go from there. Got the big bulbs up there, up on the house, all the way around. Problem is, I got to redo them. I got to looking at them, and there's some bulbs I could tell, you know, didn't, just when I'm putting them up, that they're broke or not going to work. So I got to replace light bulbs. And my problem is I don't have any more bulbs to replace bulbs with. So I got to buy new bulbs. And a lot of those lights are years old. You know, we've used them for ages. So, uh, you know, the, the, the paint coloring on the outside of them is starting to wear off. Some of, it have, some of them have lost all their lights, or they're a white light. I want them colored. So, I think one of the appointments is a doctor's appointment. I'm going to drop that person off at the doctor's, and I'm going to go up and buy some new bulbs. So, do that when we get home. Well, for day one, not too bad. And as you see, maybe... Alright, I gotta, okay, there you go. The light behind me is off. What's illuminating me? That right there. <laughs> we got the wrought iron pole done. Now let me get backed out here and we'll give you a look at what we got done today. Wrought iron pole. Now along the view of the house. And then along the uh, gutter and the trees kind of block and you kind of see the lights through it. Tomorrow we'll be working on the big tree there. That's tomorrow. Uh, as far as light count, we've got 650 along the eve, 50 of the big bulbs 
and 600 of the icicle lights going around. This one here is 450, so that brings me up to 1,100 lights installed today. And I did get my bulbs fixed, changed out, by the way. So 1,100 is the count so far on day one. How many will we get up tomorrow? We'll find out. Okay, welcome to day two. I'm out here, and we got Kaylee out here, sniffing around, wanting to help out. Now, I went and got another tub out, and by the look of it, it is indeed the lights for the bush. I've got four net lights connected together end to end, I've got to get up there. Ah! Get the camera. Sorry about that. Up onto the canopy. Up top. That's always the first part. And that is a bitch to do. So what I need to do is I need to find the center, which is right there on the net light. And the center of that goes on the center of the tree. And then we branch it out either side. That's going to be our next chore to do for the start of day two. But we got the four net lights here. And I believe we've got one or two net lights that we do on the underside here. And then we've got another one that goes on the trunk. And then normally along the outside edges of the tree, we hang out icicle lights. I'm switching those up this year. I bought some new lights for that. We will probably use the icicle lights someplace else. Haven't gotten that far yet. I'm going item by item right now and I'll see what I have left over and then I'll puke Christmas out on something else. Okay. Tree's done. Surprisingly enough. Can't really tell much during the day but we got the net lights up on the canopy. Got the net lights down here underneath and we got the net lights on the uh, trunk. Now what we did new this year are these. These little icicle lights. Normally we have like the ones up on the side of the house that add the 300 count to the thing But they're white and the white just brightens it up too much and kind of makes the uh, Color lights kind of just fade into the background. So we wanted to kind of do away with them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the uh, Icicle lights. I'm not using on the tree might put them along the top of the fence or something. I'm not sure but That is an idea well, right now, we've got four net lights up on the canopy. That's 600. We've got the other colored here above the trunk in the canopy in the middle section there. There's 200, so that brings me up to uh, eight, 800. And then we've got 150 on the trunk. So that's 950. And then there's 24 icicle lights. So we're at 999, I'm thinking. Let's see, let me do my count again here. 300, 600, 8, 950 plus 24. Uh, 950, so it would be uh, 974 lights now that does bring our count down uh last year we had uh like a thousand one hundred thousand two hundred on the tree with those icicle lights on there but not going to worry about too much uh we'll incorporate them in somehow now my next chore which is used to be a semi-quick chore are these arborvitaes here i got one here one on the other side of the tree and that one each one of them gets four net lights on it and uh, we're going to add to it a little bit this year. I've got two of those uh, starlight laser light things. The ones that put all the little colored dots all over the place. And uh, we've been wanting to put them down so they shine on the yard, not on the house and in the windows and stuff. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to stick a uh, one by two down the center of two of the arborvitaes, probably that one over there and this one here. Have it stick out the top and I can do the star showers off of uh, those. Have them pointed down into here to help hi highlight the ground or you know out onto the driveway or something. 
least that's the thought. Whether we do that or not, I don't know. We'll find out, hopefully by next segment. Well, I got the lights aimed. Oops, a little shaky there, sorry about that. But got the lights aimed that we got up today. Got a count on lights. We didn't do too bad. We ended up with uh, 601 lights on that one. That Arborvita had 600 on it. That Arborvita has 601. And where I'm getting the one at is up on top. You can see a light up there. That's one of those the star lights. Both that one and that one have a star light on it. And then the tree itself had 974 lights today. And the aiming we had to do was with the star lights. And you can see, kind of see the pattern on the uh, ground. We had to aim them so they're not getting out in the street and blinding cars. Uh, grand total for lights today was 2,776 lights. Add that on to the 950 I did yesterday, <laughs> which I do not have on. And they won't be on until the whole display is put together. Uh, another thing we did too, and I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but you'll see it tomorrow. We got the wrought iron fence also up. So that's ready for lighting and what have you. So we're making progress for day two. Hey there people, welcome to day three. Me and Kaylee are just getting out here and she's having fun exploring things. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, camera needs to be re-angled a little bit, doesn't it? There we go. But uh, anyway, last night you really couldn't see it very well. We got the fencing up around the perimeter. All the display will be sitting in here inside of it. And you got to see this bush, that tree, the bush over there, and that bush turned on. Now today, I don't know how far we're going to actually get. We're probably not going to get very far at all. But, I've got two projects I'm doing. And I don't know how many lights I'm going to actually get up and ready to go. I've got the mausoleum to get assembled over there. And we've got a screen we need to put here. I need to get some measurements. Because I'm not too sure on how much room I'm going to have for and you know, what size screen but we're going to put up a video projection screen here because we will have a video projection there this year we will have two projectors going out here so going to be interesting we're adding more and more video to things but I'm going to get to work I'll give you a clip later maybe if I get any lights well I'm bagging it for today I didn't get very far uh kind of started out the day downstairs got my workbench cleaned up I had to I had to make some uh, pigtails and stuff for some of the lighting out here uh, one of the things I had to do, make a pigtail for was at there that screen the uh, garland going around we bought it didn't realize it was battery powered there's a hundred LED lights nestled in along that garland and I didn't want it battery operated so I made a pigtail to attach to it and I've got a uh, power adapter, the right wattage power adapter for it on order. It's supposed to be in by next Monday. So that's not going to get plugged in until next Monday. But there are 100 LED lights there. And then we got over here, Morgan gave me a lot of help out here. And we got the mausoleum for the most part assembled. I still need to get the roof on it and Gargi up in his niche and we'll do that first thing tomorrow morning and then we're going to start getting the lights and get lights on this get it done but we've got 300 lights on there ready to go i've tested them they worked i'm not going to plug them in tonight i'm being lazy we got a light box there and over here on this side we got a light box there they both work i still need to get the coloring set on them yet and i'll do that after i get all the lights and stuff up and I still need to get the screen put in for there. I still need, I still got a lot of work to do on that. That's going to be our main thing. Uh, 
do. But like I said, I didn't get much done and there's no light check on day three. But uh, we did get 400 lights installed. You know, tomorrow we'll get the, uh, the mausoleum for the most part done. I don't know how far I'll get on putting lights on. I do know we'll have lights going across the roof and around the eave. And then I don't know if I'll do the pillars or not. Uh, I know the pillars are going to get lights. I don't know if they'll get done tomorrow. But I got garland and lights to go down the pillars as well. So, depends on how far I want to go tomorrow. But uh, I've been working out here to till almost dinner time, and it's going on about 4:30 now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just say the hell with it and call it quits. Good morning. Welcome to day four. <laughs> Keep wanting to say welcome to day of the haunted tents experience. <laughs> Need to figure out a name other than the haunted tents twisted Christmas display. No, oh, it's technically that's what it is. Uh, yesterday you didn't get much footage. No, well, you got about the same amount of footage you would have normally got, and you just didn't get to see anything turned on. Tonight, hopefully, you will. Uh, today's project. Continuing work on the mausoleum. I've got, well, yesterday we got, th got it put together this far. We got the two light boxes in, and I got the projection screen over on the other side of the upper right in. Today, we need to work up here. I need to get Gargi put in and get him wired, make sure he works. And we gotta get the roofing material on. And then we've gotta get the screen on in here for the projector. Once that's done, and I don't know how far on it I'm gonna get, uh, but we got the lighting. I gotta get, start getting lighting and stuff on here. Uh, as far as how far I get, I'm debating on whether I'll do the uh, pillars today or I'll wait till I get the uh, choir put in and then do the pillars all together. I haven't decided that yet. The pillars are going to get lights. I just don't know if I'll get to it today. But we'll have to see. But that's our goal for today. We want to get this all electrified and set up and try to at least get that done. The rest of the stuff goes fairly quick. Oh, and by the way, you notice on the fencing here, I got garland on the poles. Joanne came out and wrapped all the fence poles on that for me. Got all the uh, garland on. So I can pop in here and do my work on it. That saves me a lot of time. It's a pain in the ass wrapping those, so I'm glad she did it. But anyway, let's see what we get done with our project for today. It's the end of the day. It's almost six o'clock. It's dark out. I'm calling it quits. Wanted to give you light total for today as well as give you a look at what we gotten done. Got the mausoleum done as well as the fence over here. And I put uh, colored net lights on it and then hung some icicle lights down it. But we got the pillars out for the choir as well. And you can see Gargi's eyes up there. He'll be a little bit more highlighted once I get the lights in for the choir. Now, as far as light totals for today, not including that bush, and not including those light boxes, those are already in the count on both sides, we had a grand total of 1,376 more lights added on to the total. I have no idea what we're up to so far and I won't until we get down to the end of the day. And I forgot some lights, just come to think of it. So one second. One, three, seven, six. All right, sorry about that. I forgot to take into effect these little acorn lights up here, which are an LED. That changes colors just like that. And there's 50 of those. So, new total, 1,426. 1,426 lights added to the total. So, 
we're getting there. Now, as far as day five goes, on the docket for tomorrow, and I should be able to get it done and maybe move on into something else. I don't know. But, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see them out here. You might be able to see a silhouette of it there. The wrought iron fencing. I need to get the uh, garland on it and its lights and the wreaths on there so Sue Ann can get those decorated. And then uh, I need to get the arch installed over by the front porch with the lights on it. So it's good to go. Oh, and I should mention, and you might be able to see it in this lighting, but uh, Sue Ann got out and got ornaments and garland on all three of the arborvitas out here. And I don't know if this one's really even showing up anymore at all. Looks nice during the day, though. But, you know, she went and got ornaments and stuff on the bushes. So she was out here quite a bit today at doing that as well as wrapping the post. And I mentioned that earlier. So here, go, here closes day four. Get ready, guys. Day five is coming up. Okay, guys. Welcome to day five. And, yes, it's the end of the day. <laughs> uh, I forgot to grab the camera this morning. I just came out and started getting to work. We did make some progress. Swam was just out here giving me a hand with the last piece of it. Now, I've got stuff in three different locations. So, we're going to be, I'm going to give you the show and tell in three different parts. The first part is what we just finished working on. And that is getting some of these blow-ups in. Get this turned around there so I can see. We got that blow-up in. We got the little polar bear there. And his light's weak as hell. I'll be adding a light to him. And then we've got the igloo over there in place. Now over here where you probably can't see it. And I don't have it plugged in or in place yet. Eh, you can kind of see it there. Is a little penguin we put by the mailbox. That I'll, I'll uh, figure in to tomorrow's total. Uh, the pillar here, Morgan's kitty cat that she bought last year, will be sitting right about here. So uh, we got the pillar in place, don't have that out yet. So that won't be included. Uh, so that is part one. Or part three, since it was the last thing that we did. Okay, now the first thing I did out here as you can see, I guess, are the lights on and garland on the fence. That was the first thing I did. It took a while. We got lights. There's garland. We even got the wreaths on here as well. So we still got to get the ornaments on them, so those are not quite done. But they are installed. So that was, and they go all the way down to the corner there. My mom's car will be getting moved. That was the first project. The other clip I showed you, that was the third project we did. Now we're gonna show you the second project. Okay, third project, or actually it was the second project we worked on today. That's what I'm shooting for, that's what I'm hoping for. But we are getting there. We are getting so close to being done. And that actually sounds good. But anyway, next clip, something for day six, I hope. See you next clip. Okay, guys, welcome to day six, almost the end of the day. And we got a lot done out here. Uh, thing is, I'm not going to plug it all in tonight. I might plug in one or two things and kind of show you. But uh, we got stuff all over the place, and it'd just be too much of a... I'd waste too much time dragging out extension cords trying to get everything plugged in in one shot. But as uh, far as what we've got out, we've got the choir plugged in. We did three pirates and three regular skeletons for the, uh, for the choir. We got both that projector and that projector in over there. All the blow-ups out here are anchored down. We got the deer out. This is a leftover uh, Sue Ann's mom's Christmas display. Her mom passed away last May. And we decided we add, add it to, the, to our display, kind of paying honor to her mom. Uh, 
I got the mailbox, little penguin in. I'm just getting ready to get that wired and uh, anchored down on the penguin family there. And I got Morgan's cat to do yet. And you see over there on the porch, I got the uh, candles I got to get put in at the arch. So those are my next three projects I'm working on. Everything else out here is working. It just needs to be plugged into power. You know, and I do that as I put it in, I plug it in, make sure it, everything turns on. And actually I do that before I anchor it down. So, but uh, it's kind of what we're working on today. I'll have, give you a, a light count total for today at the end of the day. Okay, it's not quite dark yet, but I'm calling it a day. End of the day. I've been out here since about 9 o'clock this morning messing with this stuff. So I've had about enough. Uh, grand total lights today was 485, I do believe. Yeah, 485 on lights. But, I'll give you a kind of, I do not have anything turned on. Just to let you know, I don't feel like messing with it. <laughs> but let's give you a look at what we got put in, because it looks a little different out here. Last thing we got done were the candles. We got one light there, one light there. And then we got the projectors in, and we got two of those. And then over here we got the skeleton elves in, and there's one light in each of the packages. I'm probably going to end up adding a flood here for them too. We got the choir into place. That really filled up this corner. And the other projector. Uh, I got the reindeer in, I mentioned that. We got Morgan's kitty, and we're missing an ear somewhere over here. It was on there when we brought it down. It ain't on there now. So it's in the little bedroom someplace, and the little bedroom's a mess. But we got lights on the pillar. Uh, we got the penguin family in. And we got the, the mailbox and penguin in. So that's pretty much what we got done today. A lot of work. Like I said, I've been out here since 9 o'clock this morning. I'm, I'm beat. Uh, as far as what's still to do, uh, the fence line out here. So Ann's got to get in, put ornaments on the wreaths. Uh, tomorrow I've got the candy canes to put in along the fence line, Santa and Frosty, uh, those are both blow molds. Plus I've got to get the ghost in that lures up and over the mausoleum. And that's going to be tomorrow. That was supposed to be my next job for today and it's just like, eh, I'm, I'm burnt, I'm spent. So uh, we'll get the ghost in, the candy cane, Santa and Frosty tomorrow. Then. Last year, we added a couple of Christmas trees. You know, a little three foot, four foot trees out here. Had some lights on them. I don't know if we're gonna put any in or not. I might just go ahead and put one in over there in that corner, because that corner's kind of dead. Also, we're gonna have to kind of take a look. Might put one in here by the reindeer. Maybe one back there in front of the tree or something. We'll have to find out. But uh, day six to a close, 485 lights. To day seven, the final day, the day before Thanksgiving. Our goal was to have this up and ready to go and running Thanksgiving night. That's tomorrow night. We're going to do it. Mostly. I've <laughs> uh, been out here today. I uh, had a few things. Uh, we got the candy canes in along the fence all the way around. So that's done and in. And then also out front, and you can see the back of them, we got Frosty and Santa in. And then that white mess up on top of the mausoleum, that's the ghost. We got that in. Now that was on my docket to-do list for today. We had that done by about noon. It went real quick. Uh, we've been out here. I added a Christmas tree over there. And if you notice, 
I got some of these multicolored lights out here. I got one there that will hit the polar bear and the three skeletons. And I got two more over there on either side of the conductor to hit the choir. Uh, we decided not to put one on the conductor. Uh, other than that, uh, we got another little tree here. And we moved the bench down back there and I had some net lights left over. So we put a net light in over there. Now, that's all the lights we're putting out this year. Now, we went through and replaced a bunch of net lights. We're going bad. Uh, added some new net lights here and there to things. Changed things up a bit. I just went through, added up my uh, light count. Uh, I've been keeping track and giving you the numbers every day. And this one here... Oh God, it was around 500 for, uh, today. I think we added like 500. Here, let me go check. I got it written down. Let's see, what was it? Day seven, 530 lights is what we added today to the total. Now, I sat down and I did my totals for this year. And I also watched last year's setup vlog, the end of it to see what I have for a light count last year. I was thinking I beat last year's light count because we did add a few new lights. Though I still have four net lights and two strands of snowflakes, two strands of icicle lights. I still have about 1,050 lights in the house that we're not using this year. We really don't need it, you know. Uh, last year we had a couple of pillars with things on them. We put net lights around them and what have you. Uh, next year we might use them. I know I might increase the display next year. But barring that, my light total last year was 900, and, or no, 9,600 and something. Okay, I went and did our light totals for this year. Uh, the display is done as far as everything that needs to be out here. The only things I have left to do is one trunk line. You'll notice back here behind the scallies, this power cord, green power cord running over toward the corner of the house. That's one of my trunk lines from the haunt. Uh, that runs the whole front garden and the mausoleum. I still got to run an extension cord from it back to power yet and put the timer in. I still need the timer up along the eaves yet. I have not, on the other hand, run the trunk line for the front half of the display. That's my next project. I'm getting ready to do that now. And I got to get the timer in for it. The only other things that need to be done is that little Christmas tree, the bigger Christmas tree and the wreaths on the uh, fence need to have their ornaments put on. They're in the house ready to go. That is Sue Ann's job. Sue Ann wants to do it. Problem is, it's tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Uh, yesterday she was out here for a little bit. Uh, she hasn't been out here at all today and she definitely won't be out here tomorrow. She's been baking her little heart off. We've got goodies all over the place. And every time I walk through the kitchen, I'm grabbing something. <laughs> I've been munching on cookies and banana bread and raisin bread, all scratch made by from hand. And tomorrow's going to be even worse. She's got, you know, all sorts of stuff. We are going to have a nice spread this year. Of course, we always have a nice spread. Sue Ann loves the holidays. She loves to bake. So uh, she probably won't be out until sometime next week to get the ornaments on. Also... This video screen, the garland on it, I'm still waiting for the power adapter so I can turn the lights on on that. That is the one thing I cannot wire up because I don't have the power adapter for it. So, with that being said, we're turning the display on tomorrow. Everything will be out here and ready to go except for the ornaments and that garland. Uh, I would normally shoot the walkthrough video or the sh uh, show and tell video on the display on Thanksgiving and post at Thanksgiving night as a way of saying season's greetings. This year, it's going to be next week before I shoot the video. I want that wreath working. I want all the lights working. I want all the ornaments out here. So, 
you know, you'll probably get this video before you get that one. Provided I can get the walkthrough video done, and it's about 60% done right now. But, uh, anyway, not sure exactly when you're going to see this. So I'm going to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving now. And with that in mind, I'm also going to say I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and you're enjoying your leftovers because you're probably going to be seeing this after Thanksgiving. So uh, you guys take care. Have some good holidays. We've got some uh, prop building uh, vlogs that will be uh, start coming out. First one will probably be up maybe sometime in January. Probably in January. Maybe December. I don't know. It depends on which project I tackle. So you guys stay tuned. Happy holidays, guys, from the Haunted Tents and Ram and Sue and Morgan and Kaylee. Can't forget Kaylee. We've got to get Kaylee in on this, too. Happy holidays, guys.